Do you know the truth about poaching? Well, after these couple minutes, you will. Pickleball lovers, please subscribe, please leave your comments, and don't forget to have a good day. <laughs> what is poaching? Poaching is when you go on your partner's side of the court and take that ball. It's as simple as that. This is me in orange. I go on Sam's side, I take the ball. So that is what a poach is. I go on his side, I take his ball, I screw up, and that's why people get mad at people that poach because they feel insufficient. They don't like playing with people that take all their balls, they don't get a rhythm, it's not fun, and they're playing pickleball to have fun. I think I nailed it. Good job, Joey. Way to grab Sam's ball and look like a clown. <laughs> Here's a comment from Adrian. She's talking about Ben Johns playing with Simone, the best men's and women's player in the world. She goes, Ben, you take 99% of Simone's balls. If you asked me to play in a tournament, I would not only say no, I would say, heck no. She didn't just say heck. And Adrian has a point. It'd be like me calling Christina and saying, hey, Christina, you want to play in a tournament next week? I would take most of your balls, like 99% you don't want to play was it something i said this is a tournament i played in with sherry this is me in orange i start to go on her side and dictate play and i think that's why poaching is so important however it's easy to get carried away with a good thing i think we all have done it throughout our lives poaching alleviates pain from your partner who's struggling who's getting targeted and this is one way it can really help why do people hate poaching people hate poaching because at lower levels it especially gets ugly meaning your partner will go on your side almost hit you put the ball in the net and it looks like your partner is being a ball hawk, which he or she is in this scenario furthermore the majority of pickleball players feel that the percentage of balls hit between them and their partner should be 50 50. it's not fun if you don't get to hit a ball in pickleball agreed the four reasons to poach number one to gain advantage of your position on the court number two to take time away from your opponent number three to hit the ball down i'll explain in a second number four to protect your partner being targeted this brings me into the next question when should you poach you should poach when you're closer to the net from your partner and you can bail him or her out of a lot of situations and gain the element of surprise this is a perfect example. I'm in pink, Sherry's back, and I really surprise him. I hit down on the ball, and I hit a winner. Sherry says, such a good shot, Joey. I'm so lucky to have you as a coach and partner, and I'm so proud of you. Dredging deeper, you should poach when the ball's high enough so you can hit down on it, which explains scenario number three. I told you I would explain that, didn't I? And to build on point number four, to protect your targeted partner, you should really poach when your partner is being harassed, being really targeted, and this will get them out of a lot of difficult situations, just like in life. Another scenario of when you should poach is the shake and bake. When not to poach. You should not poach when your partner gives you almost no space and you run into them. See how to get injured. It's a really good video. I highly recommend it. This is a great way to get injured. This is me playing with Nikki and watch what happens. Watch what happens. That's why Nikki never played with me again. And I have no response. I deserved it. I almost took her ACL out. Am I sorry? Yeah. Another scenario of when not to poach is if the ball's really low. If you poach when the ball's low, you have a severe risk of getting out of position. Your partner will get mad at you and this will hurt team chemistry. So don't do it if the ball's really low. If you have a really grumpy partner that hates poaching, you probably shouldn't poach, but maybe the better question is, why are you playing with a really grumpy partner? <laughs> Why do people love poaching? At higher levels, it's a necessity. It's part of the game. You need to do it. It's strategy. I want to read a couple user comments of why people hate poaching. This is from Willis. Willis is referring to a match where the guy took 99% of the woman's balls in mixed doubles. Who's the knee poo poo guy? I believe he meant nincompoop. I could be wrong. Guy poaching 99% of the shots coming towards the other girl. That must be discussed ahead of time, right? Yes, I would think you would discuss that ahead of time. Or maybe you shouldn't, so your partner will play with you in a tournament. This is from Carrie. Carrie says, why do pros do so much poaching? Doesn't that leave the court open? Carrie, this is actually a really good question. Pros are a lot faster than most amateurs, so they can really poach, get back in position, and keep playing the point. 
So I hope that answers the question. If it doesn't, I'll do another video. This one is from Nicole. She's referring to Ben John's the best men's player in the world, playing with Simone, the best women's player in the world. And she's mad Ben John's took most of the ball. She goes, Ben, stay on your own side. If you hogged my side of the bed when I was sleeping like this, I would never get any sleep. True, she probably wouldn't. Pickleball lovers, what do you think of poaching? Please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget, if you forget one thing in life, don't forget this, to have a good day. <laughs>